Um, hi. <clears throat> uh, today we will work on the uh, customized functions or the global functions. So global functions. So in the Cypress, no? in the Cypress uh, folder structure, we can see right end to end. We will write the test cases here. And uh, coming to support, no? uh, we have command.js. So this is the file. So here they have given. See, command.js shows you uh, create various custom commands or custom functions. We can say custom functions or custom commands or global functions. See, what happens now, whenever the test executes from the end to end to end folder, like any test case, whenever it executes, what Cypress will do now? Cypress will search within the folder structure. So we no need to give separately, we no need to import this file. Uh, for the test case. So what the test case will search within the built-in folders. This is a Cypress built-in folders or folder structure. So it will search end to end JS file. So command.js file and uh, the fixtures file. We don't need to separately import these files. So if you write anything inside this one, it's a custom commands or custom functions, or we can say it's a global functions. So automatically it will go and fetch the data. So before executing the test case, it will search whether anything is precondition is added. So that is nothing but custom commands here. Okay, so so we'll we will write one custom command today. So we have seen right here. Uh, we have seen before. So before hook, right? So we have added complete uh, this uh, function, this test case, no? like login test case. So we have uh, like uh, launch the URL, uh, provide the, like uh, provide the username, provide the password and click on the button. So so this is common for each and every test case, right? For each and every functionality, for each and every test case, user has to log in and check it. So we will make this as global function. Huh? It's a common function or custom command. Okay. So we will see how to make it. So we, means we are uh, minimizing the script. So so in, uh, in, a, in any other tools, right, we will work, right? So like creating functions or <clears throat> we'll create common functions. We'll create uh, application functions like that. So we are creating global functions or common function. It is a common for each and every test case. So go here. I'm writing custom command. See Cypress, C Y P R S S Cypress. Cy under Cypress class, we are searching for commands. Commands. Dot add. What I'll say. So I'll do login function. A login function. So this is my function. So we are giving callback function. So what I will do, right? We have already written the code, right, for login here. So this is the code I'm copying there. Whatever the code is here till click button. No? Say I'm copying here and pasting in this function. Login function for application login, okay. And this is a global function. We can call it as global function or we can call it as a common function. Or we are writing the custom command site. We will write the custom commands in the command.js file. Okay. Now, how to call this function? Okay. 
save it and this login function is there control c go to here before each add here before each cy dot login function copy just call the function we will check Okay, I'll close and reopen it. So I'm accessing this one. Chrome browser only I'm accessing. So again, same issue. So I am picking on the browser. So that one we need to handle it. So I have handled by clicking on the before before going for execution. No, before entering the username in the username field. No, I have clicked and I am entering, but still it is not happening. Okay. So I am using slow here, we'll see. Okay, now we enter everything. <laughs> For now, I will as uh, delay. So oh, it is taking now. Here our motto is like uh, so we have written the custom command. So it has pulled from the custom command. See this command, no, I'm not pulling anywhere. So directly this function name I'm calling within the test case. Right? See, this is our test case. Hmm? Describe block. Under this test case, I'm removing this one. Okay, so this is our test case and this is a before block. Okay, before block. Hmm. 
Okay, this is before block. This is our first hit block. And this is our second test case, okay? So this is our second test case totally. And this is a describe block ending with the describe block. So this is our test scale now, see? So when you check with the previous video, no? so before block, uh, it has a lot of um, stuff, right? A uh, lot of steps on the login, like uh, entering the username, entering the launching the URL, entering the username, uh, entering the password, and clicking on the button. So all these things it has covered in the uh, like created a custom function. So everything is created here. So just uh, what it will do. No? So this uh, before function, what it will do? It will execute before the test once, before after launching the describe block. No, before executing the first test, it will execute once and only once it will run. So what are the preconditions? I told you, right? Set of conditions we will make it known that we will execute in the before block. So even login is function, right? For each and every test case, login is required, right? So we, we are executing the login function before first test case. So it so after login, it will continue the executing the, its step. Okay. You are clear, right? As this is how you will use the custom commands.